Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki Right before I was born, like every other child, almost everything about my life has been programmed by my parents, elders and the society. Fortunately, such plan was very simple. Go to school, be a conformist and study hard. Get out of school and pray for a good job. What is unfortunate about this plan was that, you get it, <laughs> I have problems with it. As early as when I was age 13, I had started wondering why everyone wants to be an employee. Needless to say, I dropped out of school. Hmm. In my part of the world, dropping out of school means you are an illiterate and doomed for life. Well, one of the major lessons in Rich Dad Poor Dad is the present school system is outdated because the era of job is gone. By the way, if this is your first time on our channel, consider subscribing because we'll help you read all the world's best books under 7 minutes. Let's move to the second lesson. Now, if you're one of those who still worship the present school system, kindly give me a second as I'd love to tell you a personal story. It happened that I was studying accounting in school and I knew many of those boring subjects very well. In fact, I was the best student in what you may consider college, depending on which part of the world you are. However, one day I asked myself, why is it that all my lecturers are teaching me how to calculate money and nobody is teaching me how to make it? Not long after this time, I divorced school because of our irreconcilable differences. <laughs> now let's get serious for a moment. How does it make sense for anyone that we all go to school to learn about several important things but money isn't one of those? How can there be any education at all if children aren't thought about money? Does it make sense that we all work for money all our lives and yet no education about such important tool for our existence? The second important lesson in Rich Dad Poor Dad is school doesn't give you financial education and you must educate yourself about money if you want to be rich. So, what is financial education and how can you get it? Well, just a few days ago, I was making a joke with my business team by saying, you see, I use the cheapest phone in this office because I'm the poorest. It has always been that I use the cheapest thing when it comes to things that don't bring money into my bank account. If you are like most people, you can buy the most expensive TV set. If you are like most people, you can be the first to buy Apple's latest phone or borrow money to buy a car. It's all good and nice. At least, you look rich. <laughs> but there's a big difference between being rich and looking rich. Poor people love to look rich and that's why they buy big liabilities to make them look rich. Rich people do the opposite. They buy assets that bring money into their bank account. There may be two misunderstandings here. First, what is an asset and what is a liability? In simple terms, asset is anything that gives you money, while liabilities are those things that take money away from you. The second misunderstanding is, but the rich buy liabilities too, don't they? Yeah, the rich do buy liabilities, but let me explain. When I started saving money to buy a car, I remembered the lesson I learned from Robert Kiyosaki. So I decided to invest the money I had saved in a new business I just started. The meaning of this is that I might not look rich for a period, but when my business can generate enough money to buy such car, I'll go for it. In this case, I really wouldn't buy liability. My business will buy it. That's it. Poor people buy liabilities with their income. Rich people buy liabilities from their assets. The third lesson in this book, which is one of the most important financial education you can ever get is, don't look rich, get rich. Don't buy liabilities, buy asset. So, you may ask, how do I get assets to invest in and what if I don't have money at all? These two concerns can be answered pretty easily. First, you don't need money to invest 
or to start a business. This is probably the most controversial statement anyone can make. But in my experience, all you need to start a business or invest is courage and education. I never got money while starting out. The only two things I got were courage and financial education. With courage, I was able to start my business with something far less than $100 and with education, I was able to raise thousands of dollars as I grew in the game. The fourth major lesson in Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad is, you don't need money to make money. You need courage and financial education. Kindly let us know in the comments if you've invested or started businesses in the past with other people's money. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification because we'll help you to read all the best books in the world under 7 minutes. Okay, I get it. Most things in this book can easily be confusing to people who have spent all their lives in schools and jobs. But they don't have to. Before I read your opinion in the comment, let me answer these two questions you might want to ask. First, how do I get financial education? And second, how do I get courage? Let me simply use my experience to answer these questions. First, I get financial education by reading hundreds of business and financial books and I get courage by taking actions. I recommend you take time to watch all of the videos in our channel and try to subscribe and turn on the notification so that we can help you read the best financial books. We love you.